I'm very proud to say that I come from upstate New York. Everybody asks where you're from, you always say New York, and they always assume that you're talking about uh, New York City, and we always talk about the other New York. Mom and Dad uh, always had the house that everybody wanted to come to, so when it came time for the uh, friends to figure out where we're gonna go and hang out for the night or whatever, always seemed to be at our house. The way I met Linda was uh, when I graduated from high school, my folks threw a graduation party for me, and my folks for my graduation bought me a brand new guitar, new Harmony guitar. And of course had to try it out and entertain for the party, which was standard fare at that time. And uh, Linda sat in the chair directly across from me and I sang a lot of the songs just for her that night. And afterwards she arranged for a uh, double date. And as we uh, lined up to square dance, you almost circle around and you join hands and she slipped a piece of paper into my hand and. I stuck it in my pocket and later read it and said, please call me and gave me your number. She was uh, the kind of person that once you met her, you couldn't forget her. Linda found out that very first fall after we bought the campground, uh, she called me one morning and she said I found a lump. And so she had an appointment for the next day. She went in and discovered very quickly it was breast cancer. Well, mom was first diagnosed with cancer in 1983. First time I ever saw my father cry was when the surgeon came out and said that they had to do a full mastectomy. Um, stage four breast cancer uh, with it being in lymph nodes in 1983 was pretty serious. Uh, amazingly enough that, that she made it through that, but the way that that brought the family together makes you realize what, what life is really all about. I had tried to tell Linda that her having a radical mastectomy would not change the uh, relationship between us and the way I felt about her. But being an old farm boy, I didn't know how to find the words to do that, so I ended up writing a song for her. Two good times and bad you're beside me to help me through trouble and strife. Ready to lead and to guide me, for you are the love of my life. The drive to the chemo treatment from Watertown to Syracuse, especially in the winter, was um, very stressful to Linda. It seems close, only 70 miles to drive to and from Syracuse, but it is a long 70 miles most of the, most of the year. Being that we live in a rural community, the hospital plays an important role uh, in many lives. I'm so happy that, that over the last several years, uh, I've been able to, to be on the, uh, the foundation board and work with the foundation board to raise money, especially for the cancer center. The cancer center, really, when you have uh, uh, a need like we do up here, the cancer center has been a great gift to the uh, community. This gift, the Rosen Grant from Kim, is gigantic to this institution. The cancer treatment um, was sporadic and there was multiple places to go. Obviously comfort um, helps in healing and this center affords the people in this community to get treatment here with that level of comfort instead of traveling an hour and a half one way and, and an hour and a half back. So being the largest healthcare provider, really being the leader of healthcare in this region, uh, we've needed to make certain that we are playing in that role. And so we've looked at our services and one of our goals is really around serving community needs. We've had tremendous support from the community, uh, but the gift that Kim has dedicated to this center is so important to us. It actually will be used to help uh, dedicate one of our rooms within the medical oncology area, one of our examination rooms, and that's just so important to us. If I could say to my mom how fortunate I am to be able to do this for her and the family, it would be that I love her. What she's instilled in all of us throughout our life is, is uh, I'm still here and alive. And this honor of, of being able to dedicate a room in, in, in her behalf 
from our family is probably one of the, 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 the most precious things that I'm ever going to do in my life. In a very true and uh, visible sense, this is a continuation of Linda's legacy for, uh, for Watertown and, and for the entire communities up there. So uh, she would be so proud um, and happy. Happy tears would flow. <laughs>